floor. I'm starving, bro. I, I'm requesting a freaking Mexican breakfast right now. I want some chilaquiles. First met her. She is a TikToker and she has captivated people with her elaborate cooking videos. She cooks for her three children and husband. This has made people mad. I'm sorry, you're 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 on the vanilla, can you? You may argue that she promotes this certain slash unrealistic lifestyle. Some may argue that she make everything from scratch because it's a cultural thing. I may argue she's a content creator. If she loves to make food and make videos about it, and if she sees that these kind of videos work for her and her brand or internet personality, then she's gonna continue to make these kind of videos. Oh lord. This is the worst flare up I've ever gone through. It's been like this for three days. It all started when I was dealing with really severe eczema and I had to make sure that what I put in my body would be good for my body and that's kind of how I got into nutrition and food and cooking. With autoimmune diseases like eczema and lupus, some foods may be avoided in order to decrease the symptoms. Dietary groups like whole grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, meat, dairy products are avoided in order to see what is the cause of the flare-ups. What? what is this? So if she prefers to make everything from scratch in order for her to avoid provoking a flare-up, good for her. Let's just ask the kids what they want for breakfast one to two business days. JK! But not JK, but JK. Lord, I'm starving, bro. I really want some chilaquiles right now. I haven't had breakfast yet, and I'm moving to lunch now. Yum, 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 yum. You guessed it. We're making the famous grilled cheese. I got started by making my bread. This is a really simple, no-need recipe. Put all of your dry and wet ingredients into a bowl, give it a mix, and let it rise for two hours, which gives me enough time to start making my cheese. I combine some milk, citric acid, and rennet in my pot. Let that heat up, and once it's solidified, I'd return it back to the heat and stir it gently before letting all the curds drain. Stretch it until it's shiny and smooth. Smooth like butter. And then put it back into that cooled way. The kids love pesto. I made a fresh basil pesto by putting some basil, by pine nuts. I set that aside and got my bread out and then transferred it over to my parchment before letting it bake in my Dutch oven for about 30 minutes. You need butter on your grilled cheese. By whipping some heavy cream until it's separated, pressing out all the buttermilk and spread some of that butter on my bread, pesto on top, layered on the mozzarella. The kids absolutely devoured this. I could have made like a more extravagant recipe, but to be honest, ingredients were not on the budget. There were like a lot of ingredients that I will never use again, so... See the food. Okay. okay, now we're gonna let it rest. Let it rest for 10 minutes. You know the background. We live in a Mexican household and I had to use the oven. So, I'm gonna make cheese. I make... I made cheese when I went to when I went to Korea. Yeah, to be honest, I don't remember shit. The recipe calls for two liters of milk. Not, not to be pessimistic, but like I don't, I don't, I don't trust my cheese skills. So I'm gonna try to like work with a liter of milk. We're doing this. Let's pray. Hi everyone. So ten minutes have passed. Now. I'm gonna make my dough. <gasps> what? I left it unattended and now it's boiling. Okay, yeah, with some to it. White vinegar. Oh. Oh, we put it out of the heat. Let it sit for 10 minutes. This is scary. 
Now we're supposed to take out the curd. I don't have a cheese box. Yeah, take it out. Update. I found a better way to do this thingy. Oh, it's a photo cheese box. Wow, this is so fancy, Nancy. Can you like wash it? Can you like reuse it? Dil tili saple et la baple a la machine. So it's reusable, period. I know that taking French would, 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 would. Are you cheesing here? Whoa, whoa. Um, yeah. If this turns out good, another thing that I'm gonna add to my resume is cheese maker. This is looking promising. <laughs> my bump. My bump. 30 seconds. 60. 17, 18, 19, 29. Um, 30? <gasps> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. It's just, it's just. Oh, no, it's falling apart, it's falling apart. <gasps> okay, this was too hard, bro. Oh, no. This is cottage cheese now. What the heck? Oh, we gotta wait. Fuck. Oh. This is my breakfast, bro. My cheese. This is solving. Boop. That was my fault. I made it too thick. Let's try it with milk, shall we? Mm. The milk will make it like 10 times better. I think. I'm not, I'm not, this definitely doesn't taste like. Cinnamon toast crunch. This ain't this ain't crunch at all. But I think that was, that was my fault. I waited an hour for this. I mean, I'm hungry, bro. If those kids don't know how cinnamon toast crunch cereal tastes like, they wouldn't miss it. The milk make it so much better. Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm so tired. I'm so over this. Did you guys saw the amount of dishes that I have to do? I can wait to go back to my PC. Ah! Look, at least my dough is almost ready. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. When I was a child, I went to the park with my parents. My dad bought me a little bottle of bubbles. And there were a lot of bubbles of different colors. Blue, pink, yellow, every color that you can imagine. And I was like this close to finish my bottle of bubbles. And I was like, dad, I want another one. And he was like, finish the one that you have and I will buy you another one. So I threw the rest of the bubbles to the grass. I didn't even wait five minutes. I just freaking throw them and I was like, done. I think that my dad wanted me to practice patience. <laughs> Maybe patience is not, 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 not here, not here in the room, presently me. Once I have the patience and know how to make bread, I will have life all figured out. Pale than me. I started recording this video at 9 a.m. It's currently 2 p.m. Whoa. You thought that I was gonna make my butter from scratch? Girl, have you seen my mozzarella cheese? Not even my cheese. Have you seen my bread? This is more pale than my ass. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, it's undercooked. What? This is not. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's not. 
I forgot to put salt on this. <laughs> Let's try my mozzarella. Doesn't taste like mozzarella, like, at all. This ain't it. <laughs> Girl, I've been standing here since 9 a.m. It's almost 3 p.m. And I cannot do it anymore. I'm starving. Nothing that I did came out good, so. <laughs> so that was just a um, glimpse of maybe Nara's life. To be honest, we don't know if she truly lives like this or if she just does this because of her videos but like that's the life that's the life that i cannot get over my bread some people live like this like every day they make like the homemade stuff i mean they don't stand in the kitchen for like what five hours but maybe like they do it like once per week I wouldn't get mad if my mommy or like my grandma or like my dad would like prepare food for me like I would really appreciate it because that's a lot of work effort time I'm a student and this kind of rodeo is hard for me it's not sustainable for my lifestyle and if she, it works for Nara good for her The bread. For sure, I'm gonna make paella or something. Oh, I'm gonna give it to the dogs. Yeah, that was that was my mediocre video. I guess I'm gonna do takeout today and dishes. Nice. Thank you so much.